Hi, I'm The Recruiting Maven and welcome back to my channel. Today's topic of conversation is knowing who you are speaking to in an interview. With that said, it is incredibly hot today, so I just had to throw on a t-shirt and hang out with you today. <laughs> it's unbearable. Hopefully you're surviving that heat wave very well or much better than I am. So with that said, I just want to say a quick thank you for those of you who like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I deeply appreciate your kind support. For those of you who are new to my channel, I have an ever-growing playlist with career tips and advice. And for those of you who are looking for a one-on-one -on -one coaching session, I have a great solution for you. I'm running a contest to win a free one-hour coaching session with me. So check out the vlog that I'm going to post up here so to uh, enter. It gives you all the details on that. So with that said, diving into today's topic of conversation, and that is knowing who you're speaking to, meaning it's not just about the person's name and their title, but really it is a lot of times when, um, especially when I was in staffing, uh, what I did is if I was sending a candidate for an interview, I would include some social media links, whether it's LinkedIn or whatever I thought was pertinent. Um, a lot of times, you know, in the corporate world, that doesn't really happen for whatever reason. Uh, what I will tell you is though, just be very careful and nobody really talks about this aspect of it, but just say for instance, you go to LinkedIn and you see the hiring manager that you're gonna be interviewing linked to someone that you know and that you worked with in the past and that's great. So now you have this, you can build this rapport, quote unquote. And I would caution you because if one, the person may not know, your interviewer may not know that person. I know I, and it could be because I'm a, a recruiter, right? And I'm always accepting invitations because I never know what kind of position I may be recruiting for in the very near future, right? So the more people I know, the more people I'm connected with, that gives me a broader net to reach out to then recruit someone. Conversely, you know that hire manager isn't doing that probably. Nevertheless, I know a lot of us are guilty of just accepting an invitation or maybe somebody like from from the same company you're like oh you know it's fine they're from the company I'm working with but they're not really connected they're they're not connected in a personal level I mean so just be careful because your interviewer may not know that person or may have heard of that person that works in the company or you know it, it's a big kind of a situation and or worst case scenario and that has happened to me the person didn't like the, the other person so do your homework, be very cautious, read the room. I'm always saying read the room. And um, you know, you don't know what you don't know, but at the end of the day, it's I would say proceed with caution. That's all I'm saying. And I don't think a lot of people say that uh, within the coaching world, um, but I think it's important to, to address that because yeah, you know who you're interviewing with. You, you can tell, you use your intuition how comfortable you are with that person and sharing that kind of information. So with that said, I appreciate your time. Are you liking, sharing, subscribing to my channel? Don't forget to enter the contest. Love to hear from you. See if you have any other, um, you know, wanna see a particular vlog about anything, maybe a pet peeve of yours that you might have had with a recruiter or that you don't understand what, what happened and why. Happy to do that um, kind of a vlog for you. I certainly have taken requests in the past. So anyway. Have a lovely rest of your day, and I look forward to seeing you in my next video. Take care, and good luck to all of you who have entered the contest. Take care.